Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a couple of scanning tool videos. This is on uh, Toyota Tarago and this RAV4. Now this Toyota Tarago is old, so it's a 2002. So this scan tool isn't going to work on it, but I'm going to show you what the codes that pull up when it does that. If you've got a vehicle that's older than 2005, this maxi scan tool will not work. It'll just come up with a linking error. Also, if you've got a diesel that's newer than 2005, some of those will get the same thing. But either way, it's still got the same 16 pin. And also under here, you can see the 16 pin right there. You can still plug it into that. And this thing will boot up just like it's going to link with it. But as soon as you turn on the ignition to the on position and start it up, press enter, and press diagnostics, it's going to try and read it and it will get a linking error. Yeah, it'll always come up with this linking error. Um, if this was a newer vehicle, it wouldn't do that. And I'll show you what I mean when I go to the RAV4 now. So this is the RAV4, it's a 2009 model. I fully expect this thing to work. Same Maxi Scan Autel scanner. Right underneath the dash is your OBD2 port. You can stick it in. And once it's plugged in, you'll get that screen. Then when you turn on the key, and start it up. You can then press enter. And it'll come up with diagnostics. And press enter again it says erase previ previously stored data or save data from this test no I don't want to do that so press no and then it'll come up with your codes and there's no codes found there's monitors of six um, it'll come up with that screen next then what was good about this the newer the model, you could actually test stuff, like where on the 2005 you could no test stuff. So, like right now I can test the O2 monitors. It'll come up with two of them. Go down to this one, press enter. And it'll give you the voltage for it, what it's supposed to be doing, maximum, minimum. And it'll give you a STS reading, a pass. So you can keep going down. It'll give you more readings, It'll give you more readings, and so on. So it's got a lot of things you can do on this. And then you can go, you can go back to live data, press enter, and then you can view data, complete, and I'll tell you the fuel systems. Whether I'm getting this or not. RPM, your O2 sensors again. Your evaporative PCT. It's got 38. 38 things it can sense, where on the 2005 model that I bought this thing for, which was a Toyota Yaris, it was probably lucky if there was like 17 of those things that it could actually check. You can keep going down, I'll go all the way to 38. Mill time and clear time. So 
that just gives you the time that it's on. So you can go all the way back. It'll give you the temperature of the engine, the temperature of the intake manifold. Your throttle position. Spark, spark advance, watch if I give it some gas, see how it goes up, 22 degrees, 18 degrees, when it's back at idle, it's about 12 degrees, 11.5, you can go up to your RPM, you can see 780, 770, that's at idle. You can check to make sure that your dash is close to what this is. You've got load percentage, engine coolant temperature, 76 degrees Celsius. You can actually wait until the fan comes on and actually find out exactly what engine coolant temperature you're at when the fan kicks on. So there's a lot of things this tool can do. Uh, originally, I bought it just to clear the codes and check what was wrong with the Toyota Yaris. And it did that right away. Again, you can read the codes, you can erase the codes. So if you get a check engine light on your dash, it'll tell you, it'll give you a code and what it was. So, for example, on that Echo, it was the evaporative uh, purge valve. You replace the purge valve and then the light goes off. And then you erase all codes. So, when you turn off the engine, you can just press escape out of here. It'll say exit OBD2 test. Are you sure? You just press yes. Press escape again. Escape. Are you sure? And then I'll go back to this screen again. So that's just an oversight of this maxi scan if you've got any more questions leave them in the comments and i'll be glad to try and uh, answer them or show you how it works if you get a, a linking error if it comes up with a linking error on the new model car you can unplug it from the obd2 wait 10 seconds turn the ignition switch to off then plug it back in and then turn the ignition switch to on again and it should clear that linking area okay if you like give it a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new and see you later